Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hi friends, hi. <laughs> Live today. We've pre-recorded some recently, but um, I'm live today, so good morning, welcome. Who's here? I get to say that. When we pre-record, I don't get to see you, so I get to see you this time. Okay, Ruth says good morning from Michigan. Cheryl's on, Linda's here. I met Linda in person. You guys, Linda, I'll always remember Linda, because Linda is like this six foot tall beauty with legs for days, and she, I'll never forget, she came and visited me, and she said, Melissa, one day, Will you please make your jeans to fit me? So she's my goals in mine. Her legs are like literally up to my shoulders, like gorgeous. Anyway, Liza is from Blaine, Minnesota. I'm from Blaine, Minnesota. So good morning, love to see that. Rain, I'm sending rain to Texas. Yes, please send rain to Texas. We need more and more rain and we need the cool temps. So send them here, please, because still blazing hot. I'm still wearing flip-flops in Texas. But next week, you guys, normally this week we're in Vail for our winter shoot. Every year we do our, our winter shoot in Vail, Colorado. We're always there this week. Due to our photographer being in Italy, love that for her, right? Um, we're having to move it back a week. So we're actually in doing our winter shoot next week um, in Colorado. And that's where my fall temps come in. So we're high 30s, low 40s in the morning, high in like low 70s. That's like fall per perfection. The leaves are changing, so I'm gonna soak up any of, any of that. So anyway, good morning, good morning. Thanks for joining. We have a big launch today. For those of you tuning in for the first time, hello, my name is Melissa, owner and designer here of graceandlace.com, a women's apparel company that makes um, and designs clothes to help you look good and feel good. So that's what we're all about here and giving back. We build orphanages in India uh, with a portion of proceeds of the company. Today we are launching one, not one, two, two, at least two of my favorite pieces ever. I've got, you know, of 11 years now designing, I've got favorites, right? So top five, top five, um, at least two, if not three items in my top five ever. Jackets, fuzzy, warm things for you using cold, cooler temperatures. We've got bamboo um, in a lovely, lovely snowflake. And, and guys, Mel's faves, full length. And if you know, you know, right? Can I see a raise of hands? Can we give a clap? Can we do like praise signals on Mel's Braves? Because you love the crop version and so we know this time of year we gotta give you like a full length option. So here we are trying to do that for you too. So today we also have a sale going on. Make sure, make sure it's with purchase of any new item, we have 20% off select items on the site. So when you're adding new items to your cart and it's not just for items launching today, Today, but anything under the new tab make sure you look at here look at this little this is gonna help you most right here <laughs> buy any new item use code fall 20 at checkout and you get 20% off select select other styles so it's not select site wide select site wide doesn't make sense <laughs> it's not site wide 25% off your second item it's certain items on the select section on the site and you'll see that when you click new there's a banner for the sale that that um, fall 20 will apply to a bunch of products. But look, there's bamboo in there, okay? Oh my gosh, if you don't have this stuff, this, this cute little peplum top, okay, these are just a couple of samples. These are what I wore to work today, today, <laughs> into the office today, and what I've been wearing for the last three weeks, okay? We've got jeans in there. This is just a sampling of some of the items that are 20% off of that fall 20. A beautiful tensile dresses are too. So just take a double look at that. Keep in mind the holidays are coming up, special events coming up, gifting, things like that. There's a lot of goodies in that select, um, section of the site with the 20% off, okay? Um, can we start rolling? We're just gonna have to, so I'm already in the red with my time, but we're gonna start with the um, leather-like racer jacket, the Move Free leather-like racer jacket, you guys. Our Move Free line, um, we started with, oh man, I don't know, where, maybe six years ago is my guess. Let me just tell you, here's the thing. I, we just created this fabric because I'm, I'm a big fan of a leather jacket, like a classic leather jacket, big fan. But here's the thing. Classic leather jackets are often stiff, especially until you break them in. They definitely have no stretch. And honestly, they're a little bit hard to layer with and look right on the body because the leather is so thick. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of leather, but we set out to design and create this leather-like material. Like, look at, look at this. You would never know, right, that this is soft and super, super stretchy, plus it has the softest, 
fleecy like lining on the inside that literally feels like it's like a sweatshirt on your body. That's the type of leather like look I want to wear because you get all the comfort in the world and stylish sense of looking like you're wearing a leather piece, but it's not. It's like sweatshirt like material, okay? Great details on this. This is our racer. So we launched the Moto about a month ago. You guys have seen all the colors in the Moto. That's the style we've done for years. The last time we did the racer, I think was a year ago, made it in maybe two colors. We're black with black back with black. It's restocked. The black is restocked. Really classic color in the racer style. Racer style. Um, sorry. <laughs> My words are just messed up today. Um, and then this new color, which I think, do we call it taupe? It, it is a taupe. Let me just make sure. Yes, we call it taupe. It's honestly like the perfect color of that. If you're a leather fan or even just a faux leather fan and you think of kind of leather colors, you usually traditional leather like colors are usually in blacks and cognacs. And then there's usually a lighter kind of dove doe brown okay and that's what this is and that's what I, I love I love a leather in a true traditional leather color and sense so we did this perfect doe okay type of brown it's not pink it's not brown and actually it doesn't really a pink it's just a light a nice light true color um, of a leather brown that's not towards the cognac, like the yellower side of brown. Okay, really, really pretty on this. It has the full zip up, it has the two pockets here um, at the side, and then kind of just this fun additional detail at the wrist. So this little kind of tabbed cuff type of situation, we'll just call it that, that gives it that nice kind of structured look. But again, you literally feel <laughs> You feel like you're in the, your most comfy sweatshirt. I could talk for this today about it for days, but let's bring the girls. I would say true to size fit. This is the extra small on me. Between sizes, I do go down in this one. So it's a much roomier fit than the Moto. Moto is going to be true to size. I know you're going to see that. You see the questions are going to come up. I'm going to try to catch them. Okay. Um, it's a roomier fit than that. So if you size up in the moto, I would not suggest sizing up in this one. True to size fit. If between sizes, you can go down in this one and I'm between an extra small and a small. I do prefer the um, extra small in this. Okay. Let's bring the girls out and see Taylor in this. Oh, I got to move that away from my light. Okay. Extra small on her and extra small on me. Okay. She's kind of done a dress up look in this. Here's the thing with this. You guys, you can go literally as simple as something like this. G and throw it on, pair of sneakers and you have an outfit, but you can also like for the workplace, okay, grab and go for the workplace, but also it's super, super classy if you're gonna build and put together looks. So she's got our workwear pants on in the navy, styled this neutral up top, and then she's kind of just got that put together look even for the, uh, the workplace or the office, okay? Um, questions on this one? Yes, um, the fit is, the fit is the same as last year's, last year's design. So same fit as that. Again, the two colors this year are the restock of the black and then the new color in the taupe. And I wear the same size as I did last year. Everyone wears the same size as they did last year. So if you know what, if you own one of these, you know what size you have, get that same size. If you're new to us and joining us for the first time, this is, I would stay true to size in this, unless you're between sizes and not busty or, you know, don't like honestly taking the extra small and zipping it up. Um, is a little bit closer to body fit, but that's how I would prefer it than to be loose. So um, really, really good true to size fit in this, okay? All right, and then next up we have Missy here today in this one. Okay, look it, you can build a cute look that you normally would with a leather jacket. This would look so cute with a, you know, $150 leather jacket, but she can be totally comfortable. She's comfortable in a stretchy tee, and now she's comfortable in a super soft stretchy jacket, okay? So her normal size small in this, and you can zip it fine, right? I'm okay. assuming, yeah. Yeah, so normal size, it sits very, very well without being like, the Moto is more of a, a snugger fit at the at the body. This has more of a classic normal fit at the body. Okay, normal size in that. Super, super cute with a denim skirt too, okay? Um, let's see. So, Kristen, longer torso should be fine in this. You'll see Michelle come out in a second. Michelle's 5'11 with a longer torso, so you'll see it on her as well. And we make this, we make this extra, extra small to extra, extra large, right? Or just extra small to extra large? 
Maybe just extra small to extra large. <laughs> I might be correcting myself, okay? Oh, thanks, Jessica. I'm, I'm doing better every day. She has to, I just had surgery three weeks ago, so every day is getting a little bit better. Couple setbacks, but doing better, thanks, okay? Uh, next up is Natalie in this. She, normal size, medium, okay? Normal size, medium on her. So everyone's really staying with, your, with their normal size. If they're between, I'm the one between here, and I did, um, I do go down in it and would suggest going down, okay? Um, super cute, whether you layer it light, whether you layer it heavy, it does have that really good stretch in the material and it is absolutely layerable as well. Okay, Michelle in this long torso. <laughs> so you can see, 5'11", okay, on her, fabulous. Looks so good and she's always like a sleeve length like a situation. She's our like sleeve length check in her fit. Okay, she's got the longer arms too, so this is really great for the longer arm option as well. And she, normal large, mm -hmm. normal large on her. And Amanda is back again. We're so glad to have you back. <laughs> I'm so glad to have her back. <laughs> um, I know everyone is, not just me. Um, extra normal size, extra large on her. So whether you go light underneath, which here we are in Texas, obviously I have a tank on because I'm doing a lot of changes, but you also can do heavier and longer layers underneath it as well. But keep in mind, the feel of this fabric against your skin feels so good and cozy. Leather jackets are usually cold and chilly when you first put them on, not, uh, not, on this look at this can you see how fuzzy can you see how soft and fuzzy that is underneath it just it literally feels like you're wearing the best sweatshirt ever okay really if you if you've never tried one of our leather like items you got to go for this one it really it really is a home run feel <laughs> and you just can wear it every day and you can even wear it and not feel like you have to take it off which is great okay let's move on i knew i could talk for everything i talk about everything talk for forever <laughs> in that. Okay, next up is our fleece lined leggings. We know it's cold in parts of the country. We know a lot of the country is gonna even get a lot colder and we hope the cold comes to Texas here. Might be a while still, but we know a lot of you, this is a popular request from you guys to do a fleece lined legging. Now, let me tell you what we do because there's a lot of fleece lined leggings on the market, those that come from China. China design, China designed, fleece line leggings, let me tell you, I have made the mistake over the years of buying those where there's literally like this thick of a Sherpa <laughs> fleece in the leggings that makes you look like you just added a whole nother legging, another like puff layer onto your body, which is no thank you. So we have set out in design over and over, test sample and test sample over and over to really get a quality that gives you warmth, but gives you that, that um, fleecy type can you guys see? There you go. Fleecy type warmth in the legging that doesn't add bulk. So very, very similar to the lining that's in the jacket, okay? It's actually the same, or well, very, very similar to be the same. That type of lining, so if you have your moto, that's what's inside of this leather legging. The other thing that's important to me is a lot of times when other companies try to make fleece leggings, it reduces the stretch and takes away the stretch. So we still wanted you to have all the comfort in the world of having the stretch in the leggings. Plus, we know things, okay? You like the, long, the longer yoga style waistband, no elastic in the top edge, giving you that really great stretch and feel. I know my friend Deanna, I was actually just talking to her this morning. She's like, it's not cold enough in Texas yet, but I wanna make sure I snag your fleece line leggings when they launch. So. Um, this is a great option if you're sitting in cold soccer, cold football weather, bleachers that are cold on the booty. Okay, I would say it's, now it's not heavy. It's not gonna be like that thick Sherpa that adds those other layers. But if you're like, I keep thinking of all the people who work in New York City or Chicago and you're downtown and you're walking. Some people have to like layer these underneath your clothes. This is a great layerable option because it's not thick, but it does give you that warm fleece lining, soft, sweatshirty, <laughs> stretchy type feel, okay? So Sammy, no, they are not the exact same as before. They are very similar to before, but again, we've always worked to try to improve and perfect and work on the design to give the, the best option. So very similar to the ones before. I think over the years we've made these maybe one one time or two times, very slow, but we have perfected and get get the fit, the fit much better in these, okay? Hockey games, yeah, you're even, you're even giving me the suggestions, okay? Um, Yes, and Anne says that they similar to that we had a leather 
like fleece le lined legging. Yes, I would say they're very similar to those and a little bit different in construction in that the waistband has that little, the higher yoga style waistband and doesn't have the elastic at the top. But in terms of like stretch and fit and, and inside feel and fabric, yes, very similar to those. Um, what else on these? They are a nice matte finish. That's the other things. A lot of times fleece leggings can be shiny when you stretch them. Not shiny on these. Nice dark matte finish on these. Okay, true to size, let's bring the girls out in these. I'm not gonna change into these for you, but we're gonna see them in them for you, okay? Um, Taylor has a good, like nice, classic, monotone, sporty, travel look type of, I know, you guys, the shoes. Someone just said the shoes. Shoes are coming, I promise they're coming. They're taking freaking forever, but I promise they're coming, and I promise I'll launch them the second they get here, okay? But this is like a great travel look, easy put together. She knows she's gonna be outside where it's a little bit chilly, needs that extra warmth on the legs. Great option, she's in the extra small in this, and I I think I wear, oh, it says online. I think I wear the small. I usually wear small in all of our leggings, so I'm sure I wear small in these, okay? Um, next is Missy in this. Ooh, and she's showing off our cute, <laughs> cute little, I don't know what, we needed a name for her. She's got the little eyelashes, the little heart. No, she's adorable, okay? But thinking ahead to if it's cooler where you are, where you're, maybe you're going trick-or-treating with kids or how, I don't know, you know, whatever the festivities are around this time of the year and you want something that gives you a little bit more length, warmth on your legs than a standard pair of leggings and you're in your normal size small, right? Mm -hmm. Normal size small on her and those. We're recruiting through these, I know, on the shoes. <laughs> like, talk about the shoes. Um, I promise I'll launch them as soon, as soon as they're here. Okay, Natalie in these. I mean, honestly, you guys, wherever you would normally put a black pair of leggings, but you know you need some extra warmth, this is a good option and a good go-to, okay? So if you're new, chilly mornings, chilly evenings, sitting on cold benches outside during sporting events, or just know that you're, you're on the go and you want that extra little bit of leg warmth, I know it can be very cold, or you need to layer and put them under a pair of jeans or something like that. Good option here, normal size medium, okay? Normal size medium, Natalie, they're all fun in it. Okay, Michelle in this. Honestly, you guys, we're really just putting outfits that look like a normal pair of leggings, but really just driving home the point that anytime you need something a little bit more warmer, want that fleece line fill even, um, these are a perfect solution. Uh, large, yes, large on her. And then, Amanda's not down here yet, but confident Amanda will be in her, <laughs> no, wait, here she comes, she's coming. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, know, I try to take time to give these, the, the last ones are always in the biggest rush, the biggest rush, okay? So, Amanda in her normal size, extra large, and you can see, don't they look like they're just ready for fall weather? Like, bring the cold, we're you ready, Texas. You never knew it was 95 outside. <laughs> I know, bring the cold, Texas, we need it, okay? So, great option if you need to layer up, or even double layer, like I said, if you wanna layer underneath, okay? Um, any questions on those? I know, I'm making them go fast. I was trying not to go really long today because I know you guys, but I'm in the red. So I need to go, <laughs> I need to, go to the next item. We're gonna move on. I'll talk about this one a little bit more. We are going on to the fleece jacket. Oh, you guys, the story of this one goes back literally two years. In fact, I don't know if any of you will remember this or even if any of you, I don't even know if this is on when I was on Instagram or doing Grayson Lit, I don't even know. But I've been wear testing our first fit sample, literally for two years, to Jet's very cold flag football game. Maybe it was January, it's, it takes it to get to January before it gets actually cold here, okay? Um, so this one has been worked on for forever because I wanted to make a fleece jacket out of this kind of wubby type fleecy material, okay? That Sherpa, not wubby, I mean like Sherpa type fleecy material. But I have worn this material in other styles and it's bugged me because that this type of Sherpa can kind of get caught up on your clothes. So I wanted to find a solution to be able to use the Sherpa and to be able not to be stuck up on the clothes. So I can, I'm just so excited about this one, okay? So on the outside, it's that like textured Sherpa, but on the inside, look at, it's the really soft brushed Sherpa. So smooth moving, silky soft on the inside. Can you tell the difference? Okay, so inside is like the long brushed Sherpa. And then the outside is more of that like, more of the, 
<laughs> the gathered style textured sherpa okay so this gives you more of that smooth move and it doesn't it doesn't get caught up on you in the clothes on the inside so the story on this is it was supposed to be here the factory was massively delayed and they said we can't get it there in winter and it was gonna arrive in like march or something and we were like we can't do that we can't launch this in march and so it was supposed to be here literally been in work for two years supposed to be the last year and then finally we're like okay well let's get it here in time in time for this year so um really really nice warm cozy fleecy style oh i wish i had a different tank on so that you could see okay it's a nice generous fit jacket we know we've heard your cries on the vip page that you don't love your jacket you like your jackets to be nice and roomy to layer under so this is one style that we made made sure to make like a nice generous cozy fit in this so you're not caught up anywhere okay so functional pockets here on the side it buttons all the way up i don't know what size i put on but i will look for you guys in a second okay so the other thing is that, yes, I know you guys are asking about washing. We have wash tested this fabulously. The inside does not turn to the outside with washing. If you have an area on the, the outside that's maybe like collected, you know how, how sometimes if you like, I was gonna say run into a tree, but we're not running trees over here. But if you get something caught in here, just take your hairbrush and just brush it, just kind of pick it out. It really, really brushes out. A lot of times you don't have to wash this for that type of a thing, but it can just be brushed out, but it is fully washable um, to wash it by the care instructions, okay? So the inside, the, the, that's where you can see the texture. And then the inside on this is that really, really soft, um, the more like hairy like the the more like smooth soft like silky soft of the material versus the more like the grippy side on the outside okay Whew. um so functional these are not functional pockets at the chest those are for detail only deep functional pockets here we made sure that was the other thing is normally fleece jacket pockets or fleece jackets are fleece jacket pockets and that can get really bulky so we just did like a stretchy material here on the inside so you're not like super bulky here um, at the waist with the additional pocket okay so nice roomy fit hold on what size what size did i put on put on okay so this is extra small so it is a very generous fit this is the size that i would wear and you can tell it's that nice cozy wrap yourself up this is like i could have multiple layers under this i could wear a hoodie under this i can like fully close myself you know up and in if you're like <laughs> really chilly okay so it's a it's a great and it's very soft it's not the grippy cheap okay there's definitely out there fleece that's like the grippy sticky it's not the grippy sticky it doesn't grip to your hands it doesn't grip and then that silky more brush side on the inside okay so cozy warm i'm roasting 100 degrees here still in texas but it is and it's a nice generous relaxed oversized fit so you can layer heavy under this if you did want to but it's going to be very warm um just as it is with how um, nice and thick and warm that place feels okay okay so uh this is extra small me the spring tailor out in this one obviously you guys jacket wears jacket wear you can really wear it with anything but we'll show it with a couple of different things if you did want to build a cute little look she's got this monotone type of like you know the the brown and brown and working with the creams okay so you can turn this into cute outfits absolutely but also it's just a style you can throw on if you're cold and, and outside and you just need to have a jacket on so okay tailor an extra small i'm an extra small okay oh it says it keeps freezing are we freezing no mm -hmm. okay deborah yes the material does have stretch that's the other thing you guys know us right okay we're gonna try to always pull in stretch and material when we can look at that okay so it does also have stretch you're not gonna get caught up in this you're not gonna get i mean it's it's like fully wrappable I'm headed, where am I headed? This month I'm headed to Vail, which we probably need this there, um, but we're also headed back to, our, um, to, to Pennsylvania later in October, so this will be a definite grab for me for that type of wintry um, cold that will be in there, okay? All right, next up in this one, Missy, okay? Um, so, I mean, guys, we're just kind of showing. You can just layer it over whatever, grab it with whatever. You don't have to be matching cute, but you absolutely can. Either way, it offers that texture and that warmth because I'm currently roasting, okay, to give you a nice cozy jacket. Normal size small on her. She could probably do an extra small. So you can size down in this. It's really just going to depend if you like your jackets more on the roomier side or a little bit more on the snug side, okay? 
Um, Deborah says, we're in Newf Newfoundland and we're getting frost in the nighttime now. So yes. Um, does it, Penny, no, this one, this style does not have the cell phone pocket in the inside, but we made this one nice and deep here on the sides so that you can just easily, you know, throw your phone in here on this one. I know, you, we've more, we, we designed this one before we were the queens of putting the cell phone pockets in, <laughs> in everything, okay? All right, uh, Natalie in this, oh, cute, okay? If you did wanna make a cute look, she's got the plaid styled underneath, so that contrast pop of plaid with the texture of the jacket, okay? Really easy to put a cute look together with this. Normal size, medium, okay? And she's just got a nice, easy, roomy, comfortable fit in your normal size. So. Many will be able to size down in this if you don't want a roomy fit, but honestly, that just makes it snuggy, snuggly, and fabulous. Okay, Michelle in this. Same thing, Michelle in her normal size large. Okay, so, I mean, you get you get the roominess, you have the wrappability, you get the button up is, you know, just fine on this. So, easy jacket, easy, easy jacket to throw on with anything. And then Amanda just came down, so I'm gonna give her a second while I take my water sit break. <laughs> Are you ready? Sure. I'm making her rush. I'm gonna end this. And normal size, um, extra large as well. So, tees, longer layers, longer things underneath, you're just fine. You have the nice stretch, nice wrap, and the, you know, the material is nice and stretchy. Okay, woo! <laughs> We're cruising. Any other questions on this one? Generous, oversized, comfy, relaxed. You guys asked for that in our jackets a lot. Okay, so neutral look pulled together. I was gonna button this all up for you guys um, so you can kind of see. This is extra extra small, extra small on me, which is the size that I would prefer in this. Has, you know, I can pull that sleeve down to even create like that cozy, cozy, cozy sleeve. All right, now I'm gonna pretend, I'm gonna take this off so I don't literally start sweating. I am already sweating, but let's go on to the, what is next? Ah, favorite, the, Da, da, da. The bamboo sweater and the only bamboo sweater, might I add, that we've done this year. We did one bamboo sweater, was that one or two years ago? We love to do Cardi's in the bamboo. We're trying to expand our bamboo line for you as much as we can. Uh, but this one is an Amanda design and she freaking nailed it. Like it is just so cool. So new design of bamboo sweater. Look at the artwork in here with just a kind of like, it's got that Nordic Swiss type of winter feel, right? I kind of like bring on the snow. I'm totally willing to say that with this, okay? Um, with kind of the different artwork through here of the different types of snowflakes all the way down. And then they really just kind of cover that torso kind of portion of the body through the sleeve. And then we have a nice dramatic long, extra long hem with the side slits and the dramatic kind of long sleeve hem. Either way, all of these elements put together in a sweater make this so good. If you're not familiar with our bamboo, bamboo is, um, out of everything I've designed over the last 11 years, bamboo is my favorite, number one favorite item I have ever designed. It's a piece that I wear every single day, whether it's hot outside, cold outside, 100 degrees or freezing, I always have bamboo on um, because the properties of bamboo are naturally cooling, moisture wicking, and body temperature regulating. So all of those things together, I love that I can be cold, I can be somewhere cold, but I don't have a fuzzy, too hot sweater on. So this really, really gives you, oh, look at the length on this, okay? We call it caribou and, I, and ivory. Let me just make sure, yes, caribou is the color. It's a really pretty taupe, okay? So it's like a warm, it looks a little bit more gray in the camera, it might just be the temperature. Um, it's not gray, okay? So it's a taupey brown color. Um, but it's like kind of that like nice neutral match with anything, okay? Um, type of like light taupe color. But here you can see a little bit of like the more dramatic um, ribbing on the sleeve. And here, through here, you get a little bit, see the, we, the way the knitting kind of brings through speckly white through there, the crew neck style at the neck, and then that longer type um, tunic, oops. I didn't have a dog for you guys. <laughs> Tunic style um, length of a shirt. So 
great long length, if we're, jeans, leggings, whatever, um, casual, dressed up, put it with a pair of heels, put it with a pair of booties, dial it up, put it with a warm fuzzy jacket over it. But just talk about like kind of when this cooler season type cut comes up for all of us <laughs> going into the holidays. Um, you know, this one is a home run. So only style of bamboo type sweater that we have coming this year. Only color in this option. I know you guys said, no, we want more of these. It is a true to size fit. This is not an oversized fit. Um, it's not a relaxed style fit. I would call it true to size. Between sizes, I go up to the small. Um, so this is the small on me. Now bamboo does have stretch. Um, but I prefer the I prefer the small over the extra small. I can wear the extra small. I just I feel like this fit is how I'd want <laughs> how I'd want this um, style to fit me. Okay, questions on this? <laughs> um, I love taupe colors. Bamboo is my favorite too. Uh, I have every bamboo. Kathleen, yes, she does. Right? She's like uh, num Melissa. She's like the, I'm there with you, Melissa. Every bamboo item you have ever designed. <laughs> Adding this one to my collection. Um, honestly, you guys, it's it's a home run design. Let's bring the girls out in this. Taylor in this. Yes, I will try that on for you guys to see. So Taylor in extra small. I'm in small, which is my preferred fit in this. Bamboo does have a little bit of stretch. This is in Tarja type design, so it does hold it a little bit closer than being like a big slinky. Um, you know, a lot of our a lot of our sweaters have a lot of slinky stretch. This holds its shape really, really well. So uh, that's why I'd call it true to size. In between, I would I would go up in this. Okay, extra small on her, small on me. I know they're they're all saying Melissa try on extra small. I knew it. I have it. I'll try it on. One second. <laughs> I don't know why. I still feel like I have this frog in my throat. Okay, um, Missy in this one, and small on her as well. So whether you dress it up, I'm totally casual in this pair of distressed jeans, sneakers. She's got a little heel on. She's got the leather pants. Okay, so she's dressing it up a little bit for the workplace, an event, girls' night out. I mean, this is one that you don't even need to have something for to wear it. That's how fa fa fabulous is it. So small on her, small on me as well. Natalie in this, medium on her. Okay. So medium, I, tr again, true to size fit in this. If between, I would suggest sizing up, okay? So it uh, very true to size means, I mean, more true to size means so I usually can go down, and I'll put it on for you guys can see, but it has that nice, and, and sleeves aren't tight, okay? You can still see there's like room in here, but it doesn't have the, like a slinky, slinky, everlasting gift, okay? <laughs> Normal size medium on her, and Michelle in large, large okay? And we're twins. So showing you the same outfit. Um, but whether you do it light jeans, dark jeans, you'll see a little bit darker jean on Amanda coming up too. But this is one of those things that matches with everything, okay? You could pair brown with it. You could do the brown leather pants with it if you want to pull up the brown. Lots of options in this, okay? Michelle in her normal size large and Amanda in her normal size extra large. We love the length. Isn't it just so flattering? I think even how the, the um, intarsia kind of stops, right? Just really flattering. Super cute. Nordic, like take me to Switzerland or something while I'm wearing this, okay? Does not pill, Carol. No, bamboo does not pill. Holds its shape, holds its properties. Okay, now make sure you do follow the care instructions for bamboo. You do not want to put bamboo in the dryer and you do not want to use any sort of dryer sheet. Obviously don't put in the dryer, don't use dryer sheet. And do not use fabric softener on bamboo. Okay, what bamboo is, is a very, very fine, very, very fine eyelash-like yarn and any sort of like chemical, coating chemicals, like, first of all, don't use fabric softener ever for any of your fabrics. I can preach on that later. Or dryer sheets, okay, but what that does is that coats those fibers and you do not want to coat the bamboo fibers. So highly recommend, I machine wash all mine. I wear one every single day with a bamboo wrap up from, six years ago, <laughs> so I still wear it every single day. Um, I lay flat to dry, okay, I wash, in a, I wash in a grace and lace garment bag, should be still on our site, hopefully available for you. Wash on cold, gentle cycle, and then lay it flat over a drying rack to dry. Then throw it in the dryer, I throw it in a low heat dryer for like not even five minutes, maybe two, three minutes, and just let it fluff a little bit, because you know sometimes when things air dry, they have like just a crisp sense to them, so if that crisp sense bothers you, let it um, tumble, low heat, um, for just a couple minutes, okay? And you can dry clean it as well, but honestly, the, I wear the same bamboo wrap up. I have five of them. 
from <laughs> at least six years ago. Wear them every single day, um, and I just mach machine wash and cold. They keep their softness. But if you dry them on hot, if you dry them full cycle in your dryer, or if you use dryer sheets or fabric softener, you will ruin them, okay? So don't ruin them, okay? Use a natural, I use all free and clear. I personally am passionate about the chemicals that are touching my body, so that's only my personal preference. I just use an all free and clear machine wash cold garment bag, and they're just like new, okay? All right, let's move on. I'm in the red again. I can talk forever about this. Oh, did I forget? Did I skip? I did skip. I totally missed, you guys. Oh my gosh, I skipped. Oh, <laughs> cozy cloud blankets are back this season. Okay, here's the thing. Oh, there are blankets very similar to this design that are closer to $200, okay? 150, 200. There are many, many knockoffs, dupes of those name brand designs that feel crappy, wash crappy, pill crappy, Okay, I've tried them all. <laughs> I've wanted them all personally because I am a sucker for a super, super cozy, gushy, wrap up blanket. I mean, I, I have this blanket. This is a blanket I have on because Rick keeps the house so freaking cold even the summer in the AC like at 68 degrees, okay? This is something my kids fight over. They literally, I literally had to cut a blanket in half and sew up the end last year when we didn't have any left because I'm tired of them fighting over their blankets. <laughs> okay, so I'm like, here, have half of one, right? Okay, so we do two blankets. So we do, we do, we've done several different styles of blankets, but we have two home run design blankets in my, my opinion. But last year, um, last year you guys asked for this, this is what we did, we take your opinion. You guys asked for a colorful option. Look at this, very, very warm, nice and dense. It has stretch, it's weighty, it's, Gushy, it's snuggable, it's wrappable, okay? Oh my word. If you are, I, I just can't, I can't. I've tried everything. I've tried the name brand ones. I've tried the knockoff name brand ones that influencers do and it is not the same and it does not wash the same. And they pull up, this washes fabulously. It tumble dries fabulously in your dryer, okay? It keeps its softness. It's very, very gushy. It's our cloud material. So it's very, very soft. The pattern reverses on the either side, okay? So you'll see where like there's white on this side is where there's color on this side. So this is the Az Aztec print design. So this is one if you want, well, I mean both of them, like I, I still have the cheetah one that is just always around, off on my couch or on my chair, okay? But for colors for fall, you have the Russ, navy, mustards, kind of color blocked through here. So draped over a chair, draped over a bed, and then very differently and very opposite right, is um, the new, do we call it neutral? Neutral plaid, that, that would make total sense, okay? Because <laughs> it's a neutral plaid and they're big and they're comfy and they're cozy and I, I just can't, I know, here's the deal. I know these blankets are expensive and I hate that they're expensive, but to make them this quality and make them this coziness, and even just when my kids are sick and they want to feel snuggled and they want to feel cozy, they grab, even they come down from school in the morning, this, this morning for school, the first thing they do is grab, grab one of the bamboos. So I'm excited to have a new print in our house because I've got like four of the cheetah one, okay? So this is very, very neutral. Um, it's like ivory and I don't know, like a very, very light neutral taupe, okay? So just barely their pattern. But if you're someone who like, likes a pop color and a pop pattern, <laughs> this is your one. Okay, this will go great. I might find a way I have to take these to Colorado, okay? Or if you're someone who's maybe like, I don't love blankets that have patterns and you want something neutral, this is a, this is a really great option. And just add that pop of plaid. Okay, and it's a really, really light, very, very light gray taupe. So it has a hint of a warm gray. That's, that's what I call it. Lori says, is it more gray or light taupe? It's a warm gray. I would call it a warm, warm gray, um, but very, very neutral, okay? Um, oh, now they're asking, please make a burgundy one. <laughs> Kathleen says they're worth every penny. I'm telling you, you guys, there's nothing like this one. And I've tried the knockoff ones. 
Um, they don't they don't wash good, they pill good, they attract everything, they have lint covered in them. This washes and holds its shape, texture, hand feel, weight, and everything. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Dude, I don't even I was gonna say I was gonna bring the girls on that. That gives me gives me now they're not wearing the blankets, but they are completely like the size of them is fabulous, okay? 70 by 60, maybe something like that. Nice, like this direction, you can see. I'm 5'5", five five, and there. Is it still on the floor? <laughs> so you can really cozy up. Um, you can really cover yourself up in this. You'll find your husband's stealing this, significant others grabbing it, and you can also like just as equally like fully, fully wrap up in this, okay? Favorite blanket, I'm just let, letting the crowd talk, okay? Favorite blanket every made. We've got some polarizing fans because the bamboo blanket is also, <laughs> way high up there being a favorite. So there's like, I've always said, they're both great. They're equally wonderful for totally different reasons, okay? So we've got some like big bamboo bl blanket fan lovers and some big cloud. But if you want a gushy, soft, cozy, warm, make you feel good blanket, it's that one. Okay, I'm officially, yes. Um, Rita, you know what, ask our VIP page on that. She's asking if the color gray it's not the same gray. The gray on the cheetah, and they can show you side by side. The gray on the cheetah blanket was more of a cool gray, like a blue blue cast gray. This is gonna be a warm gray on this one. Okay. Um, Renee, no, this is, or she said this is more lightweight. Yes, it's more dense and gushy and hairy and soft and fuzzy and soft. Okay. All right, let's move on. Two, where am I at now? Let's see. Oh, Mel's faves? Are we Mel's faves? We are Mel's faves. My favorite thing to talk about is gonna be my own jeans because Mel's faves are Mel's faves for a really good reason. Uh, a couple of years ago, we came out with them in the spring in crops. Since then, we've made Mel's fave crop denim, something like that name. Okay, we've made them in different washes, kept the same length. We've made them in distressing and non-distressing. And this is the first time that we have done more of a full length version, okay? So exact same fit that you know and love in Mel's Faves denim, okay? Equal to all the blue washes. I know white in the past and black, you know, dyes and colors can kind of have a different effect on denim. But if, you're, if you've got any of Mel's Faves, Stick in your normal size for Mel's faves because they fit just like Mel's faves. They're just longer. So, um, distressed option and a non-distressed option. And you guys are yelling at me right now saying, did you make it in any other colors or washers? We needed in all of them. Okay, Amanda's back there. Amanda's hearing me. Okay, so non-distressed. They're both the exact same wash and color. The only difference is the distressing and the non-distressed. And we try to do that when we can to give you an option. The distressed option I have on is very lightly distressed, which is great as well, because you really just have like a little bit of a patch there, a little bit of a trickle down on the knee and the thigh, and that's really it. So, um, booty looks fabulous as always in Mel's. Why they're Mel's faves is these are my go-to. Now, for the last three weeks, I've been wearing leggings every day, so I feel like I need a round of applause for putting, putting jeans on, even on for the show. But if I'm gonna put a pair of jeans on, it's gonna be Mel's faves. Now, in the past, um, some people do size down in Mel's. They are a more loose, relaxed, kind of generous, easiest, easy fit with stretch. I'm in a four. I can wear the twos. I just am very, still very sore in my belly button. Doctor said my belly button's gonna hurt for a really long time. Belly button does hurt for a really long time after my surgery. So I'm choosing to go with the fours just to give me a little bit more of that relax. And, and to be honest, even when I don't have abdominal surgery, um, I own fours and twos in the crops and I just have days that I prefer fours and days that I prefer twos. Like it's just kind of back and forth. So stay true to size if you want this nice kind of cozy, relaxed fit obviously if you have Mel's you know what size to wear Mel's I gotta stop talking I told you it was gonna go forever let's bring let's bring the girls on these Taylor size zero okay and super cute so they fit the full length can work with a little bit of that boot length so you can put the boot under or let it fall over a pair of sneakers okay these are like staple go-to everyday pair of jeans okay but she's got it styled cute honestly if i didn't have this sweater on i could throw this on with a jacket I, these are my daily these are your daily every day throw them on pair of jeans but it's very cute then pulled down over a boot too janice says when will other colors come <laughs> thanks taylor 
Mel's faves are my spells. Mel, Mel's faves are my faves too. How do they fit compared to the, okay, very different from waist shapers, Elizabeth. Waist shapers are some of our uh, snuggest denim, our most slim fit type of denim. They're made to suck you in. Mel's faves are supposed to just be really comfortable, casual fit. So they will fit looser and more relaxed than our, um, than our repurposed denim, than our waist shapers denim. Okay, waist shapers are gonna, so you might wanna size down if you like your fit or stay in the normal size that you do in the waist shapers, um, but know that this will be a more casual fit. I don't know, can we do that? Raise the hands, maybe help each other out. Some people size down, a lot of people size down in Mel's faves. I can wear the two, I'm between sizes, I can wear the two and it's not too tight on me. Um, so a lot of people will be able to wear two sizes in these because they do have stretch, it's just gonna prefer on, be a preference on if you like them a little bit looser or a little bit tighter, okay? Maybe help each other out on that with sizing on these, okay? Will there be more colors? If you buy them. <laughs> buy these. <laughs> buy these. <laughs> Man, will make more colors for us, okay? All right, next up is Missy and these. Super cute, and you'll see it's a different inseam lengths as well, okay? So she's got, do you have six on in these? These are eight. Six. These are eight, yeah. okay. Eight, you can go between six and eight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's between six and eight. Eight is gonna give her a comfortable, loose style fit. She just cuffed them a couple times, which you can go, totally do. She could wear those with heels as well. Those are eights on her. My guess is she could do the six as well for, or, for a snugger fit, but these look great on you. I think those, those fit her, her great comfy fit, okay? So eight on her, which she can do six or eights. I'm, I can do twos or fours, and I did four, but I can do, I can do two as well, okay? Natalie in this. Good, thank you for helping each other out. Natalie, you in 10, eight? I'm in, in 10. 10, okay. Normal, you, Normal do you wear, 10. you don't wear eights really much mm -hmm. so. Okay. She likes her tens. <laughs> Even though I would tell her she could do an eight, she likes her tens, but these look great on her, okay? Um, and she's just kind of got a sneaker on, just letting them sit, fall down on there. These are your full length casual style as we're kind of moving in some directions that aren't just all skinnies for options, okay? So that's a great option for her, normal size 10. Amanda, or Michelle, <laughs> in these, in uh, 10, 12. I sized down. What? I, Stop. I'm like, don't tell you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Michelle's sizing every week's like, moving down. No. But um, here's the thing. Most people are going to be able to wear two sizes in these. It's just going to prefer if you like them a little bit more stock or a little bit more loose. So she's in 10, 10. down from her more recent 12. Um, so between go up or down, or some people will be able to go up or down. But you guys are helping each other out, whether they go up, whether they go, you guys are helping each other out. Doesn't she look good? I know. Okay, Amanda, in these, 16? Yes. Okay, um, and she's got flats on, so you kind of see just a little bit of the difference. You can roll and cuff them, you can do one big cuff, you can just let them sit and fall. I mean, lots of options you can do for the leg on these. So if you did, I was gonna say, oh, it's kind of hard to bend over. <laughs> Don't um, do that. I know, okay, okay, okay. Yell at her. <laughs> you could do a cute little cuffed option too if you wanted kind of that casual or moving in the seasons, thank you. Um, if you wanted to do like, you know, more of that casual type of look. Or of course, you can get them altered, your option. Okay, any questions on these? Michelle's disappearing before her eyes, I know. I keep telling her, she looks beautiful. She doesn't need to lose any more weight. But um, most people, go with your mouse. If you don't know your male size, stay true to size for a casual, loose, relaxed, comfy. See this, see how this is like super comfy, casual, loose, and relaxed. Or go down for something a little bit tighter. Okay? No bending, I know. I it was just because I'm not used to having a button here. So that was the only that's the only reason pulling that leg up hurts. Does not hurt in a pair of it's just a bruise. It's just the bruise. Okay. Alright, can I move on? Let's move on. To restock of um, perfect pocket tees, okay? Perfect pocket tee, perfect v-neck tee are back in black. Did I grab one of each? Yes. So, staple color, staple layering piece, staple, staple piece year-round, the non-pocket v-neck fit option, perfect v-neck tee, perfect pocket tee. These are your great pocket tees. This is relaxed, fit, oversized, loose, okay? Size down unless you want a very, very oversized fit in the perfect pocket. Perfect V-neck tees, nice casual fit as well. Looser, relaxed hemline. You guys know your sizes in this if you're new to us. Um, these are like a generous, nice, stretchy, casual, great 
black staple t-shirt for every reason that you need a black t-shirt. So stock back up on these. If you've been missing these, you've been asking for them back. Um, is that it? Yeah, you know, the braided belt, this, oh, this was also, uh, also supposed to be here a couple of weeks ago. So if you bought the skirt, or for those of you who have been wanting the braided belt to come back, this guy is back in its one size, um, and it's got all the adjustable, you just poke the, poke the little thingy, whatever this, <laughs> this thing's called, through there. Okay, um, and there was some tips. So at our photo shoots, we just add, so it doesn't have like a belt, like a loop, like a loop for the tail. Um, but what we do, which just makes it really easy, is I just grab one of my kids' clear, one of my girls' clear elastic hair ties. If you have a lot of the tail, if you're really tiny, um, like our, you know, like our models and this has to wrap around. Honestly, for most of us, it doesn't wrap very far where it really needs anything. Like this is probably my size in this belt, maybe a little bit smaller, um, where it just kind of stays by itself. But if you needed to secure, just get the clear hair tie and just put it on here and then just run it over that, like run it through the clear hair tie through the belt. And then it's like your little invisible hold it on there type of thing. Okay. That's back restocked. And that is it. Okay. Woo! I feel like I cranked it out today. Lots of good items on launch day. Oh, I promised you I'd try on the extra small. Hold on, one second. I knew I was missing something. So someone, they were asking Snowflake in extra small on me. Hold please. Here's the extra small. I just get, my. I'm sweating. Okay, extra small just becomes more fitted on me. Little less, quite a bit of less room through the sleeve. Um, so it makes it a little bit tougher. I mean, I can do it actually fine. But just a little slimmer in general and then the side slits open a little bit more at my hip. So that's where I just say if between, I would call it more of like a true extra small. Um, so if I'm, I'm not a true extra small, I'm between sizes. Um, so I can wear this one, nothing, obviously the material does have stretch, so nothing is like tight or too tight or anything. It just looks a little bit more fitted, more fitted style. So if between and I wanted this to be more fitted, I can go down, but honestly I love the little bit like being between sizes, going up to a little bit more relaxed, looser fit. But you can see there's a little bit, um, a little bit more just true to size, <laughs> okay. Okay. See, and Ashley says she likes the fitted look on me. It's all just personal preference. I, I, most people can wear two sizes in a lot of our things with stretch. So it's just a little bit more fitted. A little bit, I'm a little bit more conscious about my belly these days still being swollen. Um, and then, you know, through the sleeve and a little bit through the wrist. So it's all, all personal preference. I can wear it fine. And Donna says she loves the small. <laughs> so there you have it. I can wear both sides, being a tighter fit, closer to the body, if that's your preference, or if you're more true to size, obviously stay in your normal size. You want your things more rumor and loosey go. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. If you have any questions that I missed and didn't share and didn't talk about, please, please, please go on to our Facebook VIPs or GNL VIPs page. The girls there are super helpful. So if you have color questions, fit questions, even I think the girls have even ran down to me during my stories and been like, the, the VIP page wants to see these two sizes on you. So if you ever have requests like that, they're very helpful and they take time out of their day, out of their other work responsibilities to get that for you. So if you have further questions that I didn't answer or didn't miss answering or questions on fit, that VIP page in general, not just our staff on that page, but that whole page is very helpful with each other. So. That's it. Signing off. We'll be in Vail next week, but coming in hot <laughs> right from the airplane um, to do a live for you Friday. So we will be launching Friday next week, as long as these shipments keep coming in. Um, and that's it. We'll see you next time. We'll see you. Have a great weekend. Great rest of your Friday. We'll see you next week. Bye.